this short video, I'm going to show you an example of how to use um, the algebraic method to find the stable matrix and distribution of a stochastic matrix. The matrix we're starting off here is stochastic. All the columns add up to 1. And the algebraic method involves finding a distribution x so that ax equals x, and the sum of all the entries in the distribution is equal to 1, so that it is a distribution. So we're looking for an x that looks like, well, it's going to be two entries, and it's going to be x, y. Um, that's what we'll call it. The sum of the entries equaling 1 just means that x plus y has to equal 1. That will make it a distribution. ax equals x is matrix multiplication. I take my original matrix, um, 0 0.4, 0 0.75, 0 0.6, 0 0.25. I multiply it by the distribution I'm looking for, x, y, and I want that to equal x, y. This condition allows the matrix to be stable with this particular distribution. If I simplify this a bit, I'll write out the actual equations for the matrix multiplication. My x plus y equals 1 is the same. If I multiply across, it'll be 0.4x plus 0.75y has to equal x, or the top entry in the last matrix. And then 0.6x plus 0.25y will have to equal y. Now to continue solving it, I'll simplify the, matri the uh, equations a little bit and we'll find something that will work nicely for this. x plus y equals 1, I'll leave alone still. If I move the x over to the other side here and subtract, I get negative 0.6x plus 0.75y has to equal 0. If I move the y over, I get 0.6x minus 0.75y has to equal 0. And you'll notice that these two equations look very similar. This will always be the case because we're working with stochastic matrices. When we start with the 2x2 two two matrix, these last two equations turn out to be almost identical. So we take our first equation, we solve it for one of the variables, maybe x, and we get x equals 1 minus y. We can plug this into either of these other two equations, and we end up with 0.6 times 1 minus y minus 0.75 times y has to equal 0. As I continue doing the algebra to end up with our solution, notice that we had three equations to start with, but only two variables. These types of systems are called overdetermined because they have too many equations for the number of variables that there are. But luckily, when we're working with stochastic matrices like this, the last two equations, or the last however many equations we're working with because of the size of the matrix, will end up not mattering. They're going, well, they're gonna matter, but they're only going to contribute enough information so that the system will have a solution. So we're never really going to have to run into the case when we're not going to find a solution or there will be some sort of inconsistency because it's going to work out. So we got down to the solution here and y is equal to 0.6 over 1.35 which we can just write a decimal down or if we want it in terms of fractions we do a little bit of reduction and we end up with y equals 4 ninths. Once we have our y value we can plug this back into the x um, right up here to find out the corresponding x value. So if y is equal to 4 ninths, x is going to be 1 minus 4 ninths, which is 5 ninths. Once we have this information, the stable distribution and the stable matrix is really easy to find. We have our x and our y value from solving the system of equations, so our stable distribution is nothing more than that x and that y value. It's 5 nines and 4 nines in this case. The stable matrix is just going to be a couple of copies of the stable distribution. In this case, it's a 2 by 2 matrix, and so we're looking for two copies of my distribution. 5 nines, 5 nines, 4 nines, 4 nines. And that'll be my stable matrix. If I took the original matrix to a high power, this is what I'd find.